Let's guide you through the grind control's inbuilt features, including auto start, clock programming, changing the ready signal volume, and standby mode. Programming the clock is optional. However, if you want to use the auto start feature, clock time will need to be set. It's pretty quick to do, so let's walk through it. To begin, press the menu exit button, then press the strength button. The LCD will flash the current time. Rotate the strength dial to adjust the time. Once that's done, press the strength button to set it and the machine will beep to confirm the change. The LCD will then return to the main screen. Now for the auto start, a nifty little feature that ensures your coffee has brewed as soon as you're up. And on the grind control brewer, the auto start activates automatic grinding and brewing. Here's how to program it. To use this feature, the clock must be set, which we did before, so we're good to go. Press the auto start button. The current auto start time will be displayed and flash. To adjust the time, rotate the strength dial. Press the strength button to set the auto start time and the machine will beep to confirm. Make sure there's enough water in the tank and you've selected the number of cups you wish to brew. Set the strength and then fill the hopper with fresh beans. You'll need a fresh filter paper in the brew basket and the drawer closed. Insert the carafe into position. Ensure it's empty with the lid locked. The LCD should display Auto Start On. If this doesn't appear, it has not been activated. To fix this, set the machine's clock and try again. Once programmed, Auto Start will brew at the time you set. Want to cancel Auto Start? Just press the Auto Start button. Remember, each time you unplug the machine from the power outlet or experience power outages or time changes, you'll need to reprogram the clock time. The Ready Signal Volume feature allows you to choose between high, low, and off. To change it, press the Menu Exit button, then rotate the Strength dial to Sound. Press the Strength dial and Sound will be selected. You should see Sound and the current setting flash on the LCD. Rotate the Strength dial to your desired volume setting. Confirm your new setting by pressing the Strength dial and the machine will beep to confirm. The LCD will return to the main screen. And finally, let's look at the manual standby mode. While a machine automatically enters standby mode after a period of no use, you can manually activate it by pressing and holding the Exit Menu button for two seconds.